Amen. Today's topic is Bible reading. We're going to talk about the reasons that you should feed on Scripture every single day. You know, if you want to be a point man in your home, if you want to be a spiritual leader for your wife, for your kids, then developing the spiritual habit of reading the Bible is going to be really important for you. I know personally, most men struggle to read the Bible. They struggle to sort of make a habit, make a discipline of reading the Bible. Uh, Steve Farrar in chapter 5 of his Point Man book, he talks about this. He talks about the importance of this. In fact, he calls it spiritual anorexia. You know, think about this for yourself. Are you anorexic spiritually? The Bible is supposed to be God's food, God's word to us. It's his food. It's like a morsel that goes deep into our souls. It's good for us. It's healthy for us. It makes us strong. It makes us good leaders. It makes us godly. But so many men, you know, maybe you can get this picture in your mind, so many men are anorexic spiritually because they've never developed this spiritual habit. And I want to say it is a habit and it's a discipline. You know, if you think about some of the disciplines, maybe some of you men have, you go to the gym every day, maybe you, you, you know, run or you get on the treadmill or you try to eat healthy or whatever. Like we, we men, we know about discipline but maybe you just don't ever think about a spiritual discipline. Reading your Bible is a spiritual discipline. And so in this video, we're going to just talk about sort of ways to develop that spiritual discipline and really the reasons that you should. I, and the author gives us three solid reasons to develop this spiritual discipline of reading the Bible. First, it reminds you that God is in charge. You know, when you read the Bible from Genesis all the way to Revelation, from beginning to end, you're going to just find out over time, that there's just one story that the Bible tells you, and time and time and time again, the message of the Bible is God is in charge. He has a plan, and it won't be thwarted. Even though we men try to screw it up, we go up and down, we fail him, God is always in charge. In fact, I'll put a link below to a Bible reading plan, a New Testament reading plan, that will help you, especially if you've never read the Bible before, if, if you feel like, man, I don't even know I don't even know very much about the Bible. You know, I need to develop the habit. We'll give you a 260-day uh, Bible reading plan because there are 260 chapters in the New Testament. And by the way, there happen to be 260 weekdays in the year. So if you make a commitment to read one chapter every day, every weekday, take the weekends off if you want to, or take the weekends to catch up, you will find that you can read through the entire New Testament and you will understand that God really is in charge. And he, he, just, he wasn't just in charge in the New Testament. He's in charge in your life as well. You're going to learn that if you start the discipline of reading your Bible. The second thing that reading your Bible will do is it will guide you into all truth. You know, if you've taken our foundation series, lesson two, we talk about how we can live to honor God. You know, as a Christian, if you're a follower of Jesus, what you signed up for is to honor God. Maybe you don't realize that. But when we put our faith in Christ, we were saying, God, I want to go your way. The biblical word for this is repentance. But the question is, well, how can I know what God's way is? How can I know, you know, what he wants for my life? How can I know how to honor him at home as a dad, as a husband? How can I know how to honor him at school or at work or with my friends or on the weekends or whatever? Well, the short answer to that is, you know it by reading God's word. So if you never develop the habit of reading God's word, then you're never going to know what God's truth is. And the problem is you're going to be fed, you know, lies or half-truths all day long, all week long. You better start reading your Bibles so that you can know what truth is so that not only you can discern it when someone's speaking it to you, but you can be discerning when you're speaking it to somebody else. Here's the third thing that reading the Bible does. It reinforces biblical convictions in you. Conviction develops when something that's true moves from your head to your heart. That's how I like to think about it. Conviction is heart knowledge. Wisdom or knowledge is head knowledge, but conviction is heart knowledge. And so the more you develop the habit of reading God's word, and this won't happen overnight, guys, but as you develop the habit of reading God's word on a regular basis, even if it's just for five minutes a day, and eventually you, you get to eat more and more of God's word and it extends and it's, you, you know, you'll find out that this is really an awesome habit and it's a great discipline to develop. But pretty soon it'll go from something you know to something you truly feel, that you have a, a biblical conviction about. You know, so many of our convictions are wrong convictions because we let 
all of the other messages that we're getting from the world get into our head and they travel down to our heart and pretty soon our heart leads us astray because our convictions are wrong. Our convictions are worldly convictions. Well, the more you read the Bible, the more you'll develop godly biblical convictions. Now, why should you develop the habit of reading the Bible? Why go through all the trouble to do it? Well, the reason is so that you can apply God's word to your everyday life. So it goes from your head to your heart, to your convictions, to your hands, so that you start applying it every single day. The author talks about, you know, bulimia. He said anorexia, spiritual anorexia, is when you never feed yourself. Spiritual bulimia is when you feed yourself, but you never apply it to your life. And both of those things are wrong. Both of those things are bad. In fact, he talks about uh, the fact that you should practice uh, scriptural meditation. In fact, I'll put a link below if you want to learn more about practicing uh, biblical meditation, not weird Middle Eastern meditation, but biblical meditation. We've got more on that topic if you want to dig into it down below. But probably even more importantly, if you're new to this and you really want to develop this habit, this spiritual discipline of reading your Bible, check out our daily reading plan. I'll put it below. Make a commitment to it. Start reading the Bible every single day. The reading plan will give you a short, you know, three to five minute video to help you to understand the chapter that you're reading every single day so that even if you're brand new to the Bible, you can develop this incredible habit, this daily habit of feeding yourself scripture every single day.